In this video, we have a projectile motion problem with an initially horizontal velocity vector. So the magnitude of that velocity vector, or the speed, is 65 meters per second. And this projectile is shot horizontally, and then it drops below the horizontal as it's traveling to the opposite face of this gorge 100 meters away. And we're trying to figure out what's the vertical drop that happens during this flight. And we're going to start in part A by finding the flight time. And this is a purely horizontal question. We know how far the projectile moves horizontally. We know how fast it's moving horizontally, so we should be able to get the time pretty quickly here. So remember, the x velocity in a projectile motion problem is constant because there are no forces acting horizontally to change that velocity. So it's as simple as really using just distance equals rate times time, or in a more physics-y notation, delta x is going to be equal to vx times delta t. And we solve for delta t. And plugging the numbers in here, I have a delta x of 100 meters, and I have a horizontal velocity of 65 meters per second. If you pay attention to the units here, the meters cancel, and 1 over 1 over seconds gives me seconds, so this is good. And when I run the numbers on this, I get 1.54 seconds. And part B is where we really answer the question that we were interested in. We want to find the total vertical drop that happens as the projectile crosses this gorge. And so we want to write down the kinematics equation that describes the y-coordinate of the motion. So y equals y0 plus v0 yt plus 1 half ay t squared, where ay is the vertical acceleration. Now, of course, that vertical acceleration is going to be 9.8 meters per second squared pointed downward, so it gets a minus sign. And I'm going to call my initial y position 0 which means the final y position is going to be negative because it's below that. My initial y velocity was zero because it's a horizontal launch. And I plug in the acceleration induced by gravity, negative 9.8 meters per second squared, and the flight time, 1.54 seconds, all squared. And when I run the numbers on this, I get negative 11.6 meters, which is a fine way to express the answer. The minus sign just means it was a drop. Or I could express it as a magnitude and say it was an 11.6 meter drop. And we're done. If you find the physics content on Zach's Lab helpful, click on the Zach's Lab logo on the right to browse playlists and subscribe to the channel. I produce over 100 new videos per month, and subscribing is the easiest way to find new content. Thanks for watching.